Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today I'm coming to you from my bedroom. Yes, if my wife found out about this, she'd be very upset. She doesn't, uh, she, I don't think she's ever thought I would film a video from here, but this is important because today we're going to be talking about linens. Yes, bed limits. And I know this is something that, uh, well, guys don't sit around a campfire talking about, but it's something I think is important in a man's life because we spend one third of our lives asleep. Now think about that. We spend a lot of time, especially on this channel, talking about the clothing we wear for 16 hours, 12 hours a day. But what about that other eight hours? Technically you are wearing sheets and fabrics close to your body and you're sleeping, and this is a time when we're recovering. My friend Ryan Masters over at the Workout Corner, he talks about actually when a man's getting in shape, an often neglected part of getting in shape is your recovery, your rest period. And if you're not getting good rest, it's gonna affect everything else in your life. So today we're gonna to be talking about both the style and the functional aspect of sheets and why a man should pay attention to this and why perhaps you should look to pay a little bit more. I'm going to be highlighting a company called Vero Linens, and they came on my radar. The uh, owner, Steve, reached out to me. We started talking. I really like him. He's a small business owner just like myself here in the U.S., and he saw a hole in the market. He's like, why can't I cut out the middleman and bring basically $1,000 sheets to the market at a much lower cost? And many of you guys are instantly are thinking, thousand dollars for a pair of sheets, I would never spend that kind of money. Well, you may not, but your wife may or your girlfriend may because they oftentimes make the spending decisions in the home realistically. And it's something that I want you to understand perhaps why they're going to spend that money and why in many cases it's a great investment because again, guys, you're spending one third of your life here. And if you go out and you buy cheap sheets and I've owned lots of cheap sheets, it really comes down to they fall apart very quickly. They're never as comfortable. And uh, well, let me go ahead and start this off with a story because I think it's going to help explain how comfortable my bed is here and why I look forward actually to crawling into this bed every night. It's not just because I have a beautiful wife. <laughs> no. Okay. So as many of you guys know, I took a trip to Ukraine this summer. On the way back, it was a nightmare trip. 40 plus hours of travel, 17 hour layover in the airport. And we were you know, at first I thought it was just a seven hour layover. Then I checked the tickets a couple days before, 17 hours. Okay, I misread this. My wife is not happy. Okay, we're just going to stay at, there's like a Hilton or something right there at the airport. Come to find out my wife is, you know, she's not going to be able to get into Poland without a visa. I'm an American. My kids are Americans, but my wife is still Ukrainian. And so for her, it is something that, uh, yeah, we couldn't get the visa in time. So we're spending the night in the airport, 17 hours. I went and bought some inflatable mattresses, told my kids we were camping, tried to have fun with it, but it, 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 it could have been worse, but let's just say it was something that we arrived in Chicago, we were tired and we didn't get a good night's sleep and we wanted, we even thought about getting a hotel room or staying with friends right there in Chicago, but we didn't because we both know that this is the most comfortable bed in the world to us. You know that feeling you get when you, uh, when you go to a hotel, a really nice one, and you crawl into that bed and you're like, wow, why can't I have this in my home? Well, the thing is, guys, is you can. You just simply have to pay attention to the details. I'm not really going to go talking about the bed because that is a large component as well. I'm instead today, of course, going to talk about the linens and uh, the, you know, the comforter and all this other stuff that goes with it. So that's my story. Basically, a 40 hour trip was made worthwhile or at the end of it, I felt good at least because we took a shower and I crawled into my bed and it was awesome. I slept a solid eight to 10 hours that night. Well, I did. My poor wife, uh, we've still got a, we've got three kids and a baby and well, let's just say the, the baby she likes to, uh, she likes to wake up multiple times, but I'm, I'm a pretty lucky guy. My wife handled most of that. But uh, the point is guys, is I look forward to crawling into my bed every night. And I want to give you the skill set, the tools, so that you can, when you're looking at sheets or when someone in your household is looking to spend the money on sheets, you understand both the style and the functional aspect. So let's go ahead and start off 
why is this a good investment? Why even care? I already talked about we spent one third of our lives asleep. And I talked about how Ryan Masters and a number of other, anyone that talks about body and nutrition and well being, how sleep is incredibly important. But another reason to spend good money on sheets is you oftentimes get what you pay for. And what do I mean here? Well, higher quality sheets are going to be denser. I can tell when, when I got these from Steve and I field tested these for uh, well, my. Uh, over the summer, I had these on my bed, and for the last three weeks, both my wife and I have been field testing these sheets, and I can tell you that they, uh, they're they great. I, I mean, the first thing my wife said when she crawled into bed after that trip is, wow, these are really nice sheets. And it kind of made me smile, because here we're both exhausted, and she's making a compliment, you know, talking about, about the sheets, how nice they are. They just feel better. They feel, it's hard to explain, but it's the difference between a high quality shirt and a low quality rough shirt. And this is something, again, you want to get in this, this bed, I, I mean, next to naked, if not naked. <laughs> but uh, no, th these it's, it's the density of the weave. It's also the length of the cotton fibers, which is really important. And we'll talk about this a little bit later, but all of that goes into play. And so you're sleeping better, your sheets are gonna last longer, and they're going to look better. So after a few washes, Lower quality sheets oftentimes lose their color. In addition, they become rougher. And you can see this pilling. You, you can look at, uh, whenever you dry sheets, look in, the, uh, look in the dryer. How much, if you start to notice there's a lot of material that you're scooping out, that material doesn't come from, you know, it doesn't just magically appear. That is coming off of your sheets. And so higher quality sheets, you're often gonna see almost nothing comes off of them. And literally, I'll be able to, I, I've probably washed these already, 10 to 20 times over the last uh, four months. And have I washed? I'll have to do the math on that. But basically once a week, we at least wash our sheets. And I can tell you that uh, they have stand, they have stood up. We've got hard water here. I use pretty harsh detergent. I've got kids. Let's just say that, yeah, you get lots of uh, stains on your sheet when, when you've got kids. And it's something that you need to be able to wash them and expect that everything comes out. Um, so let me go ahead and quickly talk about so as a man, you're going to be looking at, okay, so Antonio, you've got me convinced. What needs to go on my bed? Well, if you've got the mattress, we're not really going to talk about that. You want to have both the sheets. You want to make sure they come with pillowcases. And then you want to be looking at a comforter. And to protect the comforter, you want to have a duvet cover. So let me talk about those three, three things. The sheets I've already spent some time talking about. You want to have high quality sheets, both a lower, a, a bed sheet that, that encompasses the bed, has usually a little bit of elastic around it and fits and holds the bed. One thing I like about Vera Linens is that they actually gave you a pretty generous cut. A lot of times companies are going to try to save money and they're going to actually give you a very tight it basically, it's going to fit on your bed, but very, very tightly. Now that looks good, but over time, you're going to lose some of the, basically, you're going to have tension on this at all times, and it's going to start to give. I like it so it fits perfectly on there, maybe even has a little bit of excess material, and that ensures that there's not going to be as much tension unless you're laying in it and you're a big guy. But basically, what you're going to see is those sheets are going to last longer. Again, make sure the upper sheet has plenty of room. Uh, I've got a king size California king here, and I can tell you that, again, when you go with a higher quality, they're going to give you extra material. A lot of low quality manufacturers, they are going to skimp on that extra material because it just saves them money. So let's talk about the comforter. Not going to spend a lot, whole lot of time here, but on the comforter, you want to make sure that you've got down, and down is different than feathers. Down, there's there are feathers, and then there's down, which is usually uh, on either the younger animals or right or, or the younger birds or right uh, below the actual uh, the feathers. And this is what does a great job of insulating. They many people think they they're tiny feathers, but they're much. They don't have nearly the the heart like they're not as hard, and down is usually also going to be more expensive. It needs to have special care, but, uh, and if you need, let's say you already have a down comforter and you're wondering, hey, I haven't washed this for a long time, make sure to check out uh, Vera Linens. Steve's got a great blog and he gives ton away tons of information on how to, uh, how to clean and how to wash your linens, how to wash your comforters. Okay, so moving from the comforters, let's talk about the duvet cover. And this is where a lot of people, I notice, especially in the United States, they don't buy one of these. And that's that actually, it basically seals up 
your down comforter, and so you can wash your duvet cover much more often than you wash your down comforter. I, I don't really recommend washing your down comforter, but perhaps maybe once or twice a year. And the way you get away with doing that is you never, in a sense, sleep with the down, with your skin against the down comforter. Instead, you've got the duvet cover. And again, this would be something made from a similar material as the sheets, and it simply seals it up and it protects it from any type of stains or any, I mean, obviously we have little bits of oil and dirt on our body. Okay, so I've talked about what makes up a quality, you know, they, there's some other things like afghans. I'll talk about that actually in the article a bit. But finally, I'm gonna go ahead and end this with how to buy quality sheets. Cause you're gonna go out there and you're gonna to try to make a good purchasing decisions. And I know the thing that most men don't wanna do, we don't wanna go out there and spend $500 or $400 on what we think are quality pair of sheets or set of sheets and all of a sudden find out those linens are low quality because you know we basically just got, got ripped off. So first, let me say the whole idea with thread count is in many ways bunk. Now it does have some, Basically, it's being abused in the industry a lot. What we see with uh, with super, uh, what we see with uh, wool thread counts like super 180s, super 220s. There's probably a lot of counterfeit fabrics out there. In addition, it's kind of like megapixels. Once you get past, and we all see this in cameras, you go to Best Buy and you see this camera has 22 megapixel. This one has 14. Which one's better? Well, the 22. Well, not really because it also depends on the size of the sensor. So think about that with sheets. It's think about who's manufacturing, what country it's coming out of. Usually Italy, Switzerland, uh, Ireland, they have some of the best linens coming out. They've been making these for centuries and centuries. China is up and coming, but I stay away from China most of the time simply because they don't have, and they're working on this. I think in the next 10 years, we may see a change, but there's a lot of, there's less quality control. Basically, you see a lot of, again, counterfeit fabrics, fabrics that are being marked as high quality, but they're really low quality. In addition, almost all of the low quality is coming out of China uh, simply because people, they want to, you know, a lot of people, they don't think about this. They just buy something based off of cost. I know I've done this in the past. So look at country of origin. Uh, don't fall into the trap of the, uh, of the high uh, thread count. And the last thing is pay attention to the quality of the cotton. So anytime you see Egyptian, anytime you see Super Pima, in addition, whenever it's coming out of uh, places like, uh, again, Italy or Ireland, this is a great combination because what we're talking about here is the length of the thread of the cotton. Cotton, uh, oftentimes the quality is judged by the length of the actual strand. So uh, let me go back to West Texas. Mostly West Texas, we're gonna see very, uh, just regular, uh, inch to an inch, I guess, and a half length. But in the Super Pimas, in the Egyptian uh, cottons, we're gonna start to see those an inch and three quarters uh, up to two inches. And actually some of the cotton uh, can be down to three quarters of an inch in length. And why does this matter? Because when they spool up the threads, uh, the, you're able to get a stronger stronger weave at a, uh, how, how is it, uh, basically, it, it, you can get tighter and stronger and it's going to last longer and it's gonna feel more luxurious because you can get tighter, stronger weaves. Okay, so I hit on a lot of points here. I know there's a lot more I could have covered. I covered in the article quite a bit, but at the bottom of the article, I link you over to Vero Linens because Steve has a free ebook. If you've made it this far, you probably are, you know, you care about what I'm talking about here. So go grab Steve's free ebook. It's like 14 pages and he gives you a lot more information there. In addition, his blog is an amazing resource. And uh, if you're on my email list, I'll even talk more about how Steve has some great offers. And uh, yeah, if you're on my email list, you're gonna be eligible for the uh, for the giveaway. So Steve is actually gonna be, actually, Steve is gonna handle most of this. If you go download his ebook, I know he's gonna be giving away a set of sheets. I don't know how often he'll do this, but it is something you kind of put your name in the hat. And in any case, if you're in the market, be sure to check out uh, Vera Linens. I'm very happy, and my wife is very happy with the, with the sheets. I'd have to say that, uh, yeah, I'm sleeping very well. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, I'd love to see them below in the comments, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.